truck is slowing down in front of me. Go! We gotta have fun. He's angry. <laughs> All right, you guys are going to laugh. You're going to want to crack jokes. So I'm just going to sit here for a good five, ten seconds. You don't have to pause it. I'll just be quiet for five or ten seconds so you can make all your cracks. Okay, now that we got that done and over with, we are here. We have arrived. This is at the Sheraton. I don't even know if you're getting a shot of it or not, but we are here for Mota City Nightmares. Let's hope this is a good time so far. I'm excited as all fuck, because we're back in Michigan anyway. I mean, even if, even if the convention is not a, a, a success, I'm back in Michigan. Good enough. Let's get inside and see what's going on. And right there was where we came in. And right around there is a show. And right there is lovely lichen. What really impressed us already, without even stepping foot inside of this place, look at the floor. You see these lines? Like, see this yellow line here? It goes around the corner. What is this? It's the credit card line. Well, what about this green one here? There's this green line. Cash. And then over here, this pink one is prepaid. They've already got it mapped out for you, and that's fucking amazing. We are very thrilled with that. We're hoping to have a real good time. And they have some neat stuff that we peaked already. There's a lot to take in on this table. <laughs> and when you're ready, I'll start explaining. All right, well, the, mostly what I'm pitching here is, is Hellvan. It took me five years to make this movie. Uh, it's all practical effects. Launch a cop car off a 90-foot cliff, set two stuntmen on fire, full body burns for 12 seconds, and uh, we dropped a 600-pound flaming boulder onto a pickup truck and we blew it up. Uh, action or killer van movie. The other thing we're selling here Sorry. is uh, the greatest pro-Christian anti-marijuana killer mutant turkey movie remake ever made. Right? It's called Blood Freak. It's made by my friends in Pittsburgh, the Drunken Yenzers. <laughs> and then here, this guy here is uh, internationally renowned for his gore productions. Mm -hmm. If you need blood and guts, you need a Blind Sights production movie. Closing Time, this is the last movie he made. Or uh, Tonight You Die, which is, I'm the editor on this, and uh, uh, I told him, dude, you should just call this movie People Killing People, you know? <laughs> but it, 
Tonight You Die is a better movie. <laughs> yeah, that's the pitch, man. Thank you for thank you for absolutely uh, coming to the Is game. there a website that this stuff? Yeah, www.slowmutants.com. Thank you for reminding me that. We absolutely. Can. Thank you. Thank you. So, welcome back to Chetty and Lycan's Horror Party Massacre. Of course, that's a silly thing to say because you're already here. You've watched some of the walkthrough that we've done. This portion of our entertainment is going to be the pickups. These are the things that we got from the show. We're going to show them off, see what you think of them. And uh, we're going to go from there. After that, you're going to hear a little bit of our thoughts of, of the show after the fact, after we're done there. So, let's just, let's just stop yakking and just get into the shit, okay? We're going to start off with, she told me to go inside and buy her something. She said, here, here's money, go buy me something. So what I bought her was this. I got a new Sam! <laughs> he's a little chunky butt. And these are all handmade. She, they, they had a couple of cool things. I don't remember all of them that they had. I on think there. they had a Pennywise. They might have had a Pennywise. I don't remember that one. I know that they had a baby eraser head. Yeah. That was really cool. And we did fuck up on this one uh, by not... I don't remember who we bought it from. I don't remember the name of the vendor, so... I'm going to have to do a little bit of research to try to figure that out. I got this over the weekend, but this wasn't from the show. So I did get uh, the gift <laughs> card... Or a gift card. Her business card from this lady. And whenever I first saw it, I thought it was a possum. <laughs> and that's why I bought it. But it's cute anyway, because it's the body, it looks like a possum. With a little face. But he's got wings. So I don't bat. Possums don't have wings. No bat. It's warm out here. And so I hope you guys appreciate our sacrifice. We're giving you sweat. I am going to. Oh, I didn't notice it had a card on top. Ooh, what's that? I didn't even see that either. Imported shrunken head. Genuine. Genuine. Genuine imported shrunken head. Let's put that stuff back. See, check him out. It's a shrunken head. Ooh. He's got a little bit of hair left, but that's pretty cool. That's going on our uh, our year-round... Stop spinning that way. This is going on our year-round tree downstairs, our Christmas tree that's year-round. But thank you, baby. He's pretty freaking cool. I dig him. I loved their shrunken heads. They were just... I don't know. Something about them just got me. There's the toppy. Put him back away before he desiccates. Is that the right word? Desiccate? Well, I don't know. Decompose? I don't know. Something like that.
see what we have here. These items are, you gotta walk away from a convention with a shirt. Or two. Or three. One of the shirts, we're gonna have to get a side shot of it because it's mm -hmm. in the house. She's already wore it. So we're gonna have to get a side shot of it. It comes from uh, Strangeville. Kevin Strange, we find him at all kinds of conventions. He is here and there. We've seen him at Motor City Nightmares. We've seen him at uh, Halfway to Halloween. We've seen him at Horror Hound. Where else have we seen him? Has that been it? Horror Realm. Horror Realm. We see, that guy's all over the place, man. And he's awesome. Yeah, we love him. He is so awesome. I love uh, him. These items here come from another person, another vendor that makes his rounds. We see him at every show we go to. Is it David England? Dave England? Or Douglas. No, it's not Douglas. Anyway, his name is England. His last name is England. And we love him. He's a great artist. I got a shirt of his, God, three or four years ago when we seen him at Horror Hound. Here's his Mothman. I don't know how well you guys can see it's it. It's coming out real good. Good shot. That's cool as hell. And then, of course, with my love of Cthulhu and everything Lovecraftian, I had to get... In's Mouth Pub. I, you know, it's that's a cool print. I love the print. I love it. Love the artwork. I, I like the idea of H.P. Lovecraft and the critters and, and the different... I just, I don't like reading him. I've tried to read him. I like watching the movies sometimes. Mm. Some of his movies are no good. Not that he does the movies, but, you know, people that reinterpret his books into movies. But I just, I can't get into the writing. It's not my, not my style. It's too old. It's like trying to, for me, it's like trying to read fucking Shakespeare. I spotted this, and I'll pass it under the table to Lycan so she can do it. But I spotted this, and I had to bring her over to him. I want to take him out of the bag so you guys can see him in all his glory. So bear with it for a moment. Three hours later. Yeah, no doubt. Come on! <laughs> I'm going to maim you. This is the fun of being on Blood Thinner. This thing's been going for about five hours now. Anyway. And I already have Ludo. And then one Christmas he got me um, the Chili Down Guys. Now I got Hello. <laughs> I'm just a worm. That's pretty cute. There's a butt. It always throw his ass off. He's twerking. Twerk. <laughs> <laughs> Only my wife. <laughs> and what else we got here? I had some stuff from Michigan, some pamphlets that you don't care about. <clears throat> we got... So okay. what do I keep taking a break to snack on? Ha ha! I found my pills that I was supposed to take yesterday morning. <laughs> Did you not take them yesterday morning? <laughs> this guy that I'm going to show you stuff from right now. I want to cut him off for just a moment. What I was saying was I take a break off camera for every few seconds 
These are Michigan chips. If it's somewhere else, let me know in the comments. But they're Better Made brand. I love these chips. These are just plain old original plain chips. And they're awesome. Yep. Everything in Michigan. You know, in Michigan, Michigan and Ill uh, Idaho, or, uh, Indiana are the only two states that I'm aware of that I can get ruby red squirt. He had I probably think it's 40 starting to rain. of them. It's starting to fucking rain. Well, that sucked. Anyway, here we are in the safety of our own home where it's not going to rain. What I was trying to go into and tell you about um, is a gentleman I seen there. There's a video in here, a short little video with him. And I'm also going to do a uh, repost that little video on its own outside of this mess with a review of the movie that I picked up from him, which was, as you know, Hellvan. He really sold me on it. He said, it's, uh, do you like Christine? Do you like the hearse? Uh, I said yes to both. He sold me on it right there. Uh, but it, it looks interesting. We watched the trailer for it. It's from Slow Mutants and Blind Sight Productions. Um, I'm going to check it out. Lycan's not sure. Uh, <laughs> but I have a very unique taste in movies. So I'm looking forward to seeing this. I also picked up from him. The CD soundtrack, if that comes out all right. Yeah, it looks like it did. And as a freebie, I got I got this weird thing, which I'm not sure 100% what it is anymore. But it's called, what is it called? The Rest is Very Boring. It's some sort of documentary, um, but it looks kind of weird. So, I will check it out. I'll check it out and see. Um, he had a couple other movies at his table, as you've seen. One of the other neat things he had at his table was some koozies. Oh, that looks good on camera. <laughs> of course, you know that's a critter. If you don't know that it's a critter, you should not be watching this video. I like it spooky. I like it spooky. Freaking the dog out. I like it spooky. All right, moving on. Stop playing with your puppet. It's twerking. What's it with you and twerking all of a sudden? Know. One track mind. All oh, right. She came up here. She wants to see the people. Hi. Hi. You don't want to kiss you with the mask on. <coughs> we also, of course, like in the big reader that she is, she picked up a couple books. And if she just put the dog down, she can show off her books. So, I love the original. Not the remake. I don't like the remake. Nope, nope, nope. But I like the original Twilight Zone from when my daddy was a kid. And so this is called In Rod We Trust. And it's stories inspired by the Twilight Zone. Looks good. And he said his real name is Tom Sawyer. And then y'all know that I love my Wendigo shit. He had me at Wendigo. It don't take much. <laughs> I'm going to meme him. All right, and the last thing we got was, of course, Autographos. The first one, I'm going to pass over to Miss Lichen for her to display. And then my main list was Alice Creech and... Um, Julian Sands. Julian Sands, but he canceled for work. Um, but she was just so cool and just 
talking to everybody, even people that weren't at her table, just people passing by her table. She was talking out to people. But I got her from Bride of the Reanimator. John and Stacy, is this what you want? Kathleen Kittenmont. Kittenmont. It was the Bride of the Reanimator. She was very, very cool. I am a fan. She was awesome. We were walking by, and I seen her folding up a t-shirt that she was selling. Cops do it by the book. And I couldn't help it. That just that cracked me up to see she was actually selling that shirt from Halloween Part 4 that she was in. And seeing me laughing about it, she started talking, and she just really drew us in. Um, that's really never happened when a celebrity has actually been able to draw us in just by shooting the breeze. Normally, you pass by their table and are like, hi, how you doing? Great. See you later. But she did not. She really sucked us in. Very personable. Very positive. She was a very, uh, very much a treat to meet. The other one that we met was also is equally awesome to meet. And again, this will be a lichen display. And she signed it to John and, St or for John and Stacy. No vegetables, no dessert. But this was the commission print that you guys have already seen. Special for this show. From Sleepwalkers. And she looked at it for a good two minutes. Just looked at all the detail. Yeah. And she was like, I've never looked so spooky. She said, your buddy did a great job on this tribute. And you know who that buddy is? That was our barcode buddies. Barcode! Last but not least, if I can get some of this stuff out of my way, we got over here... Lycan went off on her own and got me a special gift. It is the thing. I don't know how well this is going to show up on camera. There you go. That's not too bad looking. But that is a awesome fucking print. We are prepping for Horror Hound Weekend, which is having a reunion for... The Thing. Picked up a special print for that to have all the actors sign the autographs on this very print. And that is a great print as well. I think I have to sneeze. Okay, I'm good. He's going to twerk, too. Twerk, twerk, twerk. All right. No more twerking. I can't control it. City Nightmares, our first trip to, they've been in the business 14 years running conventions, and it really, really was a good convention. We really enjoyed it. Not big and crazy and chaotic like a Horror Hound or a Steel City. Very intimate, very, very friendly. I mean, all of the, the uh, volunteers were extremely friendly, especially the lady that was taking money for tickets. God, she was great. Everyone there was great. They had some great vendors. They had some great guests. The layout was wonderful. Go ahead and tell them your, your feels. 
they need to have a workshop on how to organize their convention so that it's easier to maneuver, it's quicker to get through the lines, that way you're not waiting two hours in a line to get in to the establishment and piss everybody off. <laughs> One convention we went to, and I won't mention any names, but we were in line outside and literally was in this line damn near two hours just to get in. And when we got up close, they said, oh, you guys are paying cash? Oh, you should have been over in this line instead. You're in the prepaid line. Not the case at all with uh, Motor City. They had tape on the ground showing you. If you're prepaid, you go this way. If you are paying cash, you go this way. And if you're a credit card, you go... Ow! That way. That's my ear. Fuck. Now I can't hear. And the cool thing about the lady that was doing the tickets, which we need to find. I'm glad he brought up the lady with the tickets. I got my first purchase there was this cute itty bitty bunny. Oh. And they, she, and uh, I got so many compliments from the staff about that cute little bunny. And I said, well, each one of these cute little bunnies is one of a kind. There was never, I didn't see any two that were alike. Um. Which he is going to go into the other room and get my bunny. But she took a picture of me with my bunny rabbit. And look! Look! <coughs> I don't know if he's coming out real good. It's kind of dark. And he's twerking! Look at that little butt! Butt, butt, butt! Wait, wait. You're a fucking weirdo. But that's all we got for you on this video. This is a little bit longer, it looks like, than I had anticipated. Might have to chop this up a little bit. But we really enjoyed the show. We look forward to going back. Anytime I go to Michigan's a good time. This made it very much better a time because of a convention that really knows its shit and really was an enjoyable experience. Till next time, make sure you... Oh, you know what I hear people saying? I hear people saying on there, SMASH THAT BUTTON! You don't have to smash anything. I don't want you to break your phone. Exactly. But just just gently touch gently the... Gently just touch it. Yeah, just like... Whoop. And then... Oh. <laughs> hey. Stay spooky. I like it spooky. I, uh, I want to thank you. Anything you want, you, you just name it.